I'm so glad that we're back on this Monday, and you know that this month we're talking about the great theory of evolution. Well, last time I kind of took you down a road and talked to you a little bit about the truth and not truth, um, about what evolution is. It's not even truth. Um, but now we're going to go to the scripture text for a moment. We're going to um, talk for a moment about evolution and um, is the Bible specific about evolution? Is it specific? And is it true? Is the Bible uh, true? Does it have factual things in it that can tell us um, about evolution and disprove it? The fact is, is it does. We can start at Genesis chapter 1, verse 20 through 26. I'm going to read it for us today. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great wells and every living creature that moves, which the water brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every wing fell after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the fowls multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over the creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now I want to show you something. Right here at the beginning of creation, we have distinct and clear works. We have God creating animal life, fish life, all of that according to its kind. Um, Macroevolution is what Darwinism is trying to prove, that a fish can turn into a bear, or a fish can turn into a human, or um, pond scum can turn into you and I. It is impossible because when bacteria breed, they only breed bacteria. When uh, fish breed, they only bring forth fish. So the Bible is true. Everything produces according to its kind. Um, you need to understand this, and it's very, very clear. Now, there is a distinction here from the very beginning that God created animals. He created them according to their kind. Then a separate and distinct work is man. And God made man in his image. The animals are not made in the image of God. When a monkey murders another monkey, it doesn't feel bad about it. When a tiger um, uh, eats another tiger, it doesn't feel bad about it. But when a man murders another man, he feels horrible. His conscience judges him. That is the image of God. That's because we have a spirit inside of us, and we are ruling. Now, God gave us rulership over all of creation. Is that proved? Yes, it is. I see man ruling over all of creation, just like God said from the beginning. It is not. I don't see a lion ruling over us, and yet um, a, a lion could eat us. It's a lot bigger. It may be a lot faster, but we have the image of God. We are smarter than the lion. Some people, that is, unless you play with them for a living. You need to understand something. that animals are not humans, and humans are not animals. So we've got to get that down very, very good, okay? You were made distinctly with the image of God to rule over and have dominion over the creatures of the earth. That's why man rules the world. Do you understand that? So here we have these evidences. Nothing changes kind. There is no change of kind. A fish is a fish. Even in Darwin's finches, a finch is a finch. Nothing different. A few adaptations, uh, which is written in based on climate or based on the situation you're in. So there is no change. And that disproves Darwin's evolution. It is not happening before you, and there is nothing in the fossil record. Now, I want to go to 1 Corinthians 15.39. Let's take the Bible as science. Let's read it. 1 Corinthians 15.39, But God giveth it a body that it has pleased him, and to every seed his own body. That seed is the DNA. That seed is the working DNA that's down in the living cell that makes the information come to pass. You are not a blob of chemicals that accidentally fell together. 
There is a written code in your DNA. Your seed is specific. Listen. And everybody has a seed. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh to men. There is another kind of flesh to beasts. Another of fishes. And another of birds. God defined each and every one. That you feel fish skin. It doesn't feel like your skin. You feel a bird. It doesn't feel like you. Actually, a bird's bones are hollow so it can fly. You can't get up off the ground without a jet or some sort of wisdom uh, like the bird. Um, and the creatures, animals, uh, they have different kinds of flesh than we do. Okay? And so you've got to understand the Bible is very clear. Psalms 8, 6 through 9. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. He's talking about men. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep, all oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. How excellent is thy name. And so you've got to understand that God put man in a specific place. And I really want you to understand that this month. Do not, lie, uh, 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 do not fall in the trap of Darwinism because it makes you an animal. And the fact is, the mark of the beast, it's called beast, so that you act like a beast and not act like a man with a conscience, and you just take advantage of everybody and do everything, and have sex and, and have immorality and kill and be killed and go to war and everything else without considering the truth. So this month is on theist evolution, and every person in the church that says they believe in Jesus Christ has to believe in his word above even science. Sorry, just thought I'd let you know that. So today, I want to offer this. This CD, this month, for $7 donation, you can get Theist Evolution. It's a powerful sermon I preached here at Real Church. You're going to enjoy it. I want to get it into your hands. Um, just go online to ferventfire.com, give a donation of $7 or more, and we'll get it in your hand. If, if you'll sign up, um, just your information, we'll send it to you for free this month. Okay? Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, that we are made for a specific purpose and a specific work. And that work is not just to act like a bunch of a bunch of animals. It is to rule your earth. It is to have your spirit, your dominion, your truth in our lives. I bind demonic spirits that would come against every individual watching. I ask God that they would not be brainwashed with something that's not true or not even proven. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'll see you next Monday minute. Till then. Make sure that you are not acting like an animal.